Today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of the controls that are around a Model S steering wheel, how you use them, what they do, and um, I'll try and cover some usage when we're on the road as well, if I can get the other camera set up properly. This is pretty much the driver's eye view of the binnacle and the steering wheel and what you can see while you're driving along. Um, over here you've got windscreen wipers and indicators which are pretty normal for cars these days. Windscreen wipers is the button on the end so it gives you a quick squirt and some wash. Um, the twist is your windscreen wipers intermittent fast and really fast. On the other side you've got the drive stick which is a handbrake as a button on the end and if you can just see in there to get into drive you go down, to get into neutral you go up and to get into reverse you go up again. At the moment the car's in off, I need to stand on the brake pedal to switch it on so that I can try and put it into drive. On the steering wheel itself you've got a voice control button, a scroller for I've got it set to do cabin temperature, so as I scroll, it increases or decreases the air conditioning temperature. And there's this little menu button, which on one of my other videos I showed you what this did. It brings up a, a menu that you can change that adjusts what this, this little scroll wheel here actually changes. On the other side, you've got your hi-fi music entertainment controls, so you've got skip forwards a track, skip backwards a track and volume. This also controls the volume on the sat nav and volume on voice calls as well, but only while the voice call or the sat nav is, is active. Now underneath the steering wheel and a little bit out of sight you've got a very important stalk. This one here is your cruise control and autopilot stalk. So on the Model S, this is a separate stalk, and you twist it to control your following distance. And you press it down to slow down cruise control, you press it up to go faster with cruise control, and you pull it towards you to engage cruise control, towards you twice to engage autopilot. And you can push it away from you to switch off cruise control and autopilot. This little tiny lever over here controls the steering wheel reach, rake and tilt. So this is one of the first things you're going to need to use when you get into a Model S and you want to set the car up so that you're comfortable to drive. So this is a little joystick that pulls, pushes, lifts and drops. And as you can hear it's moving the steering wheel around. Some other controls that you might be interested in when you're setting the car up to drive for the very first time are these ones over here. These are all to do with your wing mirrors, so it selects the passenger wing mirror or the driver's wing mirror, allows you to adjust how it's tilted and tipped, and this button in the middle folds the wing mirrors in and out. So if I press that one, the mirrors fold in and fold out. And then if I select this one, you see the little button comes on and then when I adjust using these buttons, the mirror moves. And to deselect that wing mirror, you press the button again. And then that switches it all off. So that if you accidentally push these buttons, nothing happens. Obviously these guys do your windows up and down, one touch, all of them. And this one is quite a useful child lock window for in the back, which stops little monkeys in the back seat playing around with your windows. I've just jumped out of the car briefly to show you these buttons on the side of the seat. They're kind of chair shaped, which gives you the hint. This one sorts out the back of the seat, tilts it forwards and backwards. 
This one brings the base of the seat up and down and backwards and forwards. So if I push the top, the seat back comes forwards. If I push the top back the other way, then the seat back goes backwards. And this one, you move the seat forwards, move the seat backwards, and you can move the seat up and down. These buttons over here are to do with the headrest and the lumbar support, which I'll show you next. When you start to fiddle with the lumbar support button, you can see this comes up on the screen that says, do you really want to be changing the lumbar or do you want to be changing the headrest? If you want to move your headrest, you click headrest. So there you go, you can see the headrest going down and the headrest going up again. And the really great thing about this is that all of these settings you can save on your user profile. So once you've got your seat comfortable, your mirror's in the right position, um, the steering wheel in the right position, all you have to do is create yourself a profile and hit the save button. Here you go, here's the list of profiles. I'm currently set with easy entry. So if I click on this, I can automatically select my user profile and my seat will move, my lumbar support's moved, my steering wheel's moved and my wing mirrors have moved. The only mirror that you need to worry about is your rear view mirror and that's it. You can create up to 10 user profiles. So at the moment I've got one set up for myself, one set up for my partner, um, one set up for easy entry which moves the steering wheel up and away from me and my seat backwards so it's easier to get in and out of the driver's door. I've also got one set up for if I have to hand the car over to a valet like airport parking or anything like that which secures the car. Um, I know that people have got different profiles set up for maybe having a snooze while they're supercharging or getting the laptop out and doing a bit of work while they're supercharging. It's a really fabulous feature that's really useful. Now I've shown you what some of the controls do while I'm sat in the car stationary. Let's go for a drive. The first thing I'm going to do is tap the brake with my foot down here. And that wakes the car up. I've got to put my pin in because I have pin to drive set. And I can then use this stalk and with my foot on the brake, tap it down to put the car into drive. And here we go. As soon as I take my foot off the brake, the car starts moving because I have creep mode set. I've got to wait to pull out of my driveway. Now on the dashboard I've got the tyre monitor set and also my energy gauge set. Those you can change using scroll wheels. So if I press and hold this scroll, scroll wheel I can change to navigation tyre pressures, trips, energy meter or music. And on the right hand side, if I tap the menu, I can change what the scroll wheel changes. And if I press and hold the scroll wheel, I can change what this side displays as well. Just coming up out of the village now and what I'm going to do along here is I'm going to put on autopilot so the bottom lever you pull it towards you twice and you get a satisfying bing bong that tells you that it's running.
So you push it away from you, switches off autopilot, lift off the throttle and the car starts to regenerative brake. into reverse and park back in my parking spot. So there you have it, now I'm back in my parking spot, I can push the button on the end of here which is the parking brake and my easy entry kicks in, my steering wheel moves, my seat moves and it's nice and easy for me to get out of the car.